As we approach Artisphere this weekend, there are many different kinds of art to explore. We've got Tracy Timmons with us, an artisan jeweler whose works will be on display. Welcome, glad you're here. Thank you. Um, before you show us around a little bit, tell us about your background as an artist and really how you got started making jewelry. I'm primarily a self-taught self -taught artist. Yeah. I um, started just beading and wire wrapping, and as my designs evolved, I had to learn metal smithing. So I started wow. buying books and materials and practiced a lot. Um, and I've been metalsmithing now for about 10 years. That's very cool. And, and, you know, researching you a little bit, we know you have a love of nature, and that's kind of what inspires your work. It you is. brought several pieces here. Walk us through what you brought. I brought, um, here is a fine silver orchid, and it has a little bit of gold and a cultural pearl in the middle. Um, that's the kombu technique that I'll be showing in okay. a minute. Um, this piece is a dogwood flower, and it has chrysoprase as the accent stone. Beautiful. Here we have a ginkgo leaf that has a lot of the kumbu gold on it. Um, hangs beautiful. And a pair of um, earrings, um, butterfly, monarch butterfly earrings with opal. Such detail. How long does it take for you to make each of these pieces on average? Um, it depends. Yeah. A piece like this can take several hours because okay. there's so many techniques involved with it. Beautiful. So bracelets, all this stuff, and, and you talk about your technique. Mm -hmm. You taught yourself how to do a lot of things. There's some heat coming off of this yes. now. Walk us through what you do. Okay, so kombu is um, the, a technique that involves bonding pure gold to silver. Mm -hmm. And it's a Korean word that means attaching gold. And using heat and pressure, once it gets to a certain temperature, you can use pressure with um, an agate burnisher or stainless steel burnisher, and it starts to fuse. And we it can see it just barely on screen right now. If we give this a little Turn tilt, a little we bit. can see that. Uh, okay, at there we go. Between so five that. and 700 degrees, it starts to bond. Um, the atoms exchange between the gold and the silver and creates a permanent mechanical bond. Wow. And then that can be um, soldered, it can be used in other um, different types of techniques, and it won't go away, it's permanent. And those are, I mean, you create all the little details doing this over heat. You talk about how your fingertips are practically <laughs> numb at this point, right? They are. Yeah. Um, what do you, what's it feel like to, to be able to kind of share your art and then to do it in such a big way coming up at Artisphere? Oh, Artisphere is such a big deal. It's such a prestigious show, mm -hmm. and it's a really hard show to get juried into, so it's truly an honor. Okay, so as you demonstrate this, there are a few pieces we didn't quite reference, but when we look at the detail on that, this is this is what you were doing to create... This piece here. That. Uh -huh. um, so that, I took a big piece and put it on the fine silver and used the heat and pressure to, to make it permanent, and same as inside there. Um, have some gold as well. We've talked to several artists lately, and, and one thing that kind of combines, or one thing that a lot of them have in common, there's just such a passion, and, and there's therapy in art. What's it like for you to dive into one of these projects? Um, I, I get so much inspiration from the textures and the techniques mm -hmm. required to bring a piece to life. Yeah. Um, that's what drives it. And at Artisphere, when somebody comes to your booth and they say, that is gorgeous, I'm putting it on right now, what's going to be going on in your heart? Well, I feel like my pieces need to be experienced. And so when somebody comes to my booth, I want them to try it on mm -hmm. um, and make that connection. And it just feels like I'm making a connection with them. Yeah. And there's so many interesting forms to teach. Are you going to have this at your booth where people can kind of see your process at all? Or I wish I could. Product? I won't have time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just won't have time to do it. But. Well, it's very cool, and, and we appreciate you, you teaching us a little bit about it. Beautiful pieces. Um, you're at booth 132 One. at Artisphere. Um, anything else you're looking forward to the most or you want people to know who might stop by and see you? I'm going to be at um, booth 130, actually. Okay. Um, I think I was at 132 last year, but I'm going to be at 130. Okay. So they'll find you. They'll be able to say hello. And uh, finally, where else can somebody see your work if they don't make it to Artisphere? I um, post regularly on my Instagram okay. at Tracy Timmons Jewelry. Very good. Well, such a talent. We appreciate you sharing Thank it with you. us. We'll put your contact information on screen now. People can find you this weekend at Artisphere and online. We've got a link in the As Seen On section 